Hi everyone. Today's vlog is going to be about um, something I saw on PBS about a new phenomena called persuasion. Persuasion is the notion that um, before you even deliver a message, ask a favor, you know, close a, a client, what have you, there are certain ways that you can prime the brain to be more accepting of your messages. And I won't give too much away um, because watching the clip on PBS, look it up, um, it's, it's really worth watching. But the notion is that our brains take in visual cues and relational cues and based on that, we'll open our mind up to different possibilities. I will use one example. Um, one example he used, um, the psychologist slash marketer Robert Cialdini, or Cialdini um, used was a gentleman did an exper social experiment where he tried to get ladies to give them their, give him their phone numbers. And he approached them in front of a shoe store and he approached them in front of a bakery and didn't really have a great hit rate. I don't know what the guy looked like. So who knows how that plays into it. However, when he stood in front of a florist and asked ladies for their phone numbers after a little short burst of chat, his success rate doubled because supposedly the women's brains were primed for romance because flowers are associated with romance. So when it comes to priming our brains, how can we take what marketers do to get us to buy and turn that into what we could do to help elicit the behaviors we want? So I've been thinking about, uh, you know, how I can, um, get more focused when I get home. And one of the things I've done is I've cleaned up my office space. So my office now just has a bookshelf, a couple of desks, my lighting kit, very few things in it. So that allows me to focus on the business. And every time I come in here, uh, I see my little notes on the wall and hopefully that is priming my brain to be more business focused. Now, one thing I'm lousy at is getting up in the morning. So I'm starting to think about how I can persuade my brain to get up before I hear the alarm or at, right after I hear the alarm. What can I do to persuade myself or persuade myself to get up? Should I put brighter colors in the room? Well, I don't think so because I still have to fall asleep. But should I be putting reminders of what the day holds or um, should I be putting some motivational posters up there about getting things done? What can help me use this persuasion to help persuade myself to not only decide to get out of bed, but actually get out of bed? So I'm going to think about this persuasion stuff more. Um, I don't know how revolutionary it is. Um, I think educators have known about priming brains for a long time and in advertising and graphic design, certain designs um, evoke trust, symmetry evokes trust. Banks and technology companies usually have blue. If you're talking about food, there's, there's always going to be some red in there. So I think we've always known that priming the brain exists, but this notion of persuasion in terms of um, both imagery and um, trying to move people's brains into certain channels to get what you want um, by introducing subjects, um, certain subjects in certain ways to them. And again, I'd point you to that PBS uh, story. Uh, it's quite interesting to me. So I think it's something we can all think about how we could harness for good, but also I think it's something that we can start paying attention to, to ensure that we're not manipulated. 